Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the time that I went to court. Now, I didn't go to court for anything major, but it was something that was just so small and stupid, and I thought they would just let it pass, but it is what it is. I mean, they didn't find nothing on me, so let me just get right in. I didn't even know if I was going to make this video at the time, because not too long ago I had an anxiety attack, which I'll probably get into at the end of the video. So basically, I was 15 at the time, and I was in 8th grade, and I wanted to skip school so I could smoke weed. So I bought myself a bag of weed from just some random guy. I'm not really going to give out his name because he's probably watching the video. But, you know, anyways, I did not have anything at all to smoke weed in. You know, I didn't have a piece. I didn't have a bong. You know, whatever you use. Not even a fucking apple. Yeah, some people use apples. I do sometimes, depending on what the reason was and all the circumstances and basically I didn't have anything I ended up running into these two other kids who wanted to smoke weed and I said you know I have weed but I didn't have a piece and they said don't worry we have one we stashed it so I went to go follow them which I don't know if that was a good idea but you know they came through they had a piece hidden in a bush somewhere I don't know why they threw it in a bush I guess like they had cops around them or something they didn't want to get caught with it their cops ended up pulling them over and whatnot now the thing was that on the right corner there was a public elementary school and you know we didn't really give a fuck we just like started filling up the piece and started blazing it or whatever you want to call it you know 420 or whatnot and after 30 minutes go by we were just chilling listening to music all hanging out you know they weren't like those type of cholos that just be like you know talking all that shit and whatnot they were just so chill laid back people and basically um we saw three cops going by now the thing is like when you first start smoking weed you start becoming paranoid you start to like overthink things but i smoked many times so i didn't really like you know think that way but you know i seen three cops coming by and i'm thinking like oh we're fucked but you know they i think it was three cops going by or it was just like the same cop just circling around the park just like kind of like eyeballing us you know they had the windows rolling down they were like looking at us I feel like the lady who was sitting like right in front of us or well, she was sitting at the other bench but that was like right in front of me looking the way I was and I guess like she called the cops on us or whatnot you know she was a little bitch whatever and <laughs> anyways um, the cop pulls out and you know he starts questioning us you know there was two of them and when I noticed that he was gonna come this way, I just like literally just threw the bag of weed and he threw his piece and whatnot. And we were just sitting there waiting, waiting for the cop to come by. And he asks us, um, aren't you guys supposed to be in school? And I said, no, it's a day off for us. You know, I said, no, nah. I just like, I wasn't feeling good. I went outside to get some fresh air. I live like near here, you know, just telling him all kinds of bullshit. And the moment that he saw us, like, I already knew we were fucked, you know. So, I ended up doing something that I thought was kind of stupid, but at the time, I didn't want to be no snitch. I didn't want to, you know, obviously, I'm going to take the fall for what I had. And I told him, you know, he found the bag of weed. He was asking, who is this? And I don't even think we ever answered the first time, but then when he asked the second time, I was like, it's mine. You know, I ain't going to lie. You know, it is, it is what it is. You know, I ain't trying to get somebody else in trouble. I ain't trying to be that type of guy who does that type of shit. Not because I want to be a snitch or anything. It's just the type of person that I am. If I did something, I'm going to admit to it. Like, I bet anybody who had a self-conscious will do the same thing. Because I don't fuck with the police. I may not be black, but they will guarantee shoot me. I mean, they kind of look like crooked cops. And that's the only reason why I didn't want to fuck with them because, you know, I ain't trying to go to jail. And the thing was that confused me the most was that the guy told me that I'm going to jail. I'm under arrest. He was reading me my Miranda rights, you know. But the thing was that, you know, it kind of tripped me out. I don't know why, but it just did. The cop ended up giving me a ticket, which, you know, I was fine with. I didn't think I was going to go to jail anyways because I only had possession of it. He didn't see no signs of me, you know, being high or whatnot, red eyes or whatever the symptoms are. I actually thought he was a crooked cop because what was funny was that he actually let me go. Like, he said that, you know, I'm just going to give you a ticket. You're going to have to go to court and, you know, whether you want to fight this or not. And I was cool with it. You know, I wasn't like, you know... I wasn't going to complain about a ticket, you know, I could always pay for that, 
but you know it is what it is you know I think you know because I told the truth he just let me off with the warning and then just let me go home even though I did have to go to court and my mom was telling me that oh you're probably just gonna go to jail for this and I'm like seriously really this is my first offense I already knew that I wasn't gonna go to jail over something like this so small and when I went to court this judge was such an ass though you know I was just being honest with the judge and he just told me okay well you're gonna have to do community service and I was okay with that and he gave me I think 1200 hours and the thing was that after I was supposed to complete the 1200 hours I was also supposed to pay like I think a $200 fine which is not that big of a deal you know but I haven't even paid it to this day and the only thing that they could do is provoke me for getting a driver license until I pay off that debt or whatever you want. The funniest thing is that I didn't even do my community service. Well, I didn't do all my hours. And I thought I was going to get into some huge trouble for that. But no, they didn't do nothing. They just said I had to pay the fine and that's it. You know, and I was kind of feeling a little bit nervous on what they would do to me. But they didn't do anything at all. So pretty much I was just wearing just for nothing. The funniest thing is that I actually ran into some of my friends from school going to that court. And I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah, so basically that's how I ended up getting a ticket and going to court. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. You know what it is. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.